Well, hello everyone. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo uh, in my Boca Raton office. I'm here with Ken's case once again, and now we're at the point where we have sent our case up to Atlantis via um, FedEx. This was Friday. Today is Tuesday, and at 7 0, uh, let's see. Well, early this morning, I think it was like 7 o'clock this morning, they sent us an email at my office, and in the email uh, is the web order. So here it is. Here are the, um, the specific tooth numbers are listed to the left here, and, um, and here is the implant type, and the type of material, which is titanium. These happen to be bone level from Strawman RCs. Do we want a duplicate abutment or not? No, we don't. Um, I'm not sure still of the reason why you would want two sets of abutments, but um, maybe you want something more long-term, and then you would order two sets. Uh, and, and then the emergence uh, width. In, in the previous uh, video, we went over that and uh, decided to go with supporting the tissue. We wanted the margins to be, as I zeroed them out, <clears throat> I want them right at the crest of the tissue, <clears throat> excuse me, because this is a, not a, uh, an aesthetic case. And uh, so having the margins right at tissue level means that that's where our cement line will be, since this is no longer going to be a screw retained case. Um, that was our first goal, is to shoot for a screw retain. We couldn't do that. We do want a chamfer. We checked all those off. And uh, we're not going to treat the outside uh, with any um, of that uh, uh, titanium um, uh, nitride material. OK, so moving on. <clears throat> I wrote a, put a note in here. I said, a full wax up was submitted made of Dent Supplies Triad Ivory Light Cure Material composite. A wax up is tight on the model. <clears throat> you may want to scan the wax up first and then scan the soft tissue and implant position last. Please be very careful when removing it from the master cast. This case was mounted using magnets on a Dinar Combi articulator. I included an Omnivac silicone bite registration slash index, upper master cast, lower opposing model, and a pallet excuse me, a palatal silicone index positioner used with the Omnivac. And then I just put my name. All right, so here's the case. All right, now we're going to, it pretty much gives you um, your case in the middle. Uh, you just push down your scroll button or your scroll reel, uh, wheel and just kind of scroll that um, forward. So that's the zoom. Now, if we want to move this um, around, um, you're going to left-click to rotate, right-click to pan, and scroll the wheel to zoom. So I'm going to, I'm going to drop back the zoom a little bit. <clears throat> Notice over here to the right, we have um, each individual tooth. I'm on tooth number five right now, but let's just say I wanted to go to tooth number eight. That would highlight in green. Tooth number nine next to it. Again, gives you a little better contrast. Now you can, like I said, you can right click the pan, so that'll move it up or down. And the left click will rotate it. So now you've got the ability to see it from every dimension. Um, I'm just giving you an, an idea, not necessarily a full course on this, but you need to find out, you know, is this the best position? And if not, you need to let the company know. Um, and there are ways to do that. Um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and click on make the lower cast visible so you'll get to see that. Now that's the lower cast. And we're going to go ahead and put the upper diagnostic wax in place. So there's the upper in place. That's a simple thing to do. And then you can also make the upper more opaque or less opaque, depending on on uh, what's necessary. So here we go. This is less opaque, almost invisible, more transparent, and here is more opaque and to the point where it's completely 
there. So now you get to see here's the models. This was the arrangement that we had made. This is incredible three-dimensional perspective of our uh, case. And there are the implants from above. And you can see, remember we were talking about that, uh, I'm going to zoom in on this, the, uh, the emergence profile. We captured that in our impressions, and there they are, all nicely done. Um, incidentally, on the bottom, they'll give you photographs, and you can actually scroll down and look at these. Let's just uh, click on this. Up comes a page, and you can, you can look at them individually. And in case you don't want to use the 3D, you have 2D in which to work with. So here they are suspended, and they give you four nice photographs for that. So uh, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, let's, uh, let's click out of this, and you can click on another photo. And then, of course, see it from that perspective. So they show you with and without the model in place and your lowers. You know, you want to check the amount of clearance, certainly. You want to make sure that they knew how much to give you. I wanted about two millimeters of thickness, my framework and my porcelain. And uh, you want to also try to find out more about the... Um, the amount of thickness that you're going to have to support your porcelain, and also gives the, you know, gives you a chance to uh, to double check. Let me just uh, scroll down here. There we go. Great. There. It takes a little use getting used to the software, but it's it's pretty easy. Um, let me make that point here. So push this back, push the lower back. You, know, you want to be able to make sure that you've got a corridor. To follow down this, this distal to, I want to say, posterior to anterior corridor. I can pan this over. I'm going to wait. Uh, Computer is a little slow. Here we go. So by panning, see, you can check here mesial distal dimensions. And then um, let's go back to rotating. Now this is what I want. I'll pan this back. There we go. Now you can look right down the corridor. This is kind of neat right here. You can actually see how much buckle, you know, extension you have in your temporary. Let's blow this up now. Yeah, this program's a little slow right now, um, but from here to here, that dimension. Do it buckly, lingually, and interproximally. Interproximal because you know you want to know where your cut throughs are going to be. Oh, well, here it comes. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Pan that over. Bingo. There we go. Now you can play with it. Okay. So look at look at this molar. You can see there's not as much dimension here as it is on the buckle aspect. You see that, right? And also, if this were a subgingival case where the margins had to go sub G for some reason, um, you could eliminate the diagnostic wax up and then just work with the soft tissue and see how I'm doing that. So you can see where. Now maybe they could have cleaned it up a little bit better around the soft tissue area. And now you can see the papilla here. Um, and start to pan away, and and here's the edentulist area, and uh, and your anterior. So you know, if you wanted them to design it to support the papilla a little bit more, you'd want to tell them that. And and also if you need to sink it subgingivally. So that's it. I've got a little work to do now. I just wanted to give you Ken's case now in the CAT CAM form. And what we can do is send this now up to Atlantis via the email and tell them, A, to make some adjustments 
or B to go ahead and I believe um, today's Tuesday I would receive them in the mail FedEx on Thursday before 1030 so I'm going from last Friday to have them, having the abutments in my hand on Thursday ready to go for my lab to fabricate and wax up the uh, the metal framework. Now we may scan for that, I don't know yet, uh, we'll see what what my lab uh, has entailed for that, but this is state-of-the-art uh, techniques and um, Atlantis is just one of the companies but they seem to be the leaders as far as working with the, den the dentist directly and also laboratories. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo, I'm glad you enjoyed it today. Um, um, looking forward to showing you the finished abutments um, when they come back from Atlantis. And um, that's it for now. Have a great day out there. I enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.